viewers, I am the narrator, and the cat you're seeing on screen is Kel. We will using Kel to show stressful situations. If you don't know stress, uh, okay, I'm uh, done. um, excuse me, Mr. Narrator, you do know I can hear you, right? Oh, I didn't know. Um, let's move on, shall we? We'll start with a simple situation, keeping a secret. When you're trying to keep a secret, you focus most of your energy on keeping your mouth closed so you don't accidentally tell a secret. This can cause stress. Uh, uh um, Harper, Prince doesn't really like you. Well, crap. Responsibility of going to school can also be stressful. With friendships, homework, or occasionally relationships to balance at the same time, it can overwhelm you with stress. Or in this case, wait. Look, I... Uh, I know you're trying to teach people about stress, but I feel like the stress you're talking about is easily managed with. Stress is definitely not easy. You want a stressful situation? I'll give you a stressful situation. A stressful situation could be death. At uh, what? You're not going to explain why someone's death might be stressful? Nope, I'm surprised you haven't noticed what's on the gravestone yet. Huh. Um, what do you mean? <gasps> you twisted monster! Oh please, I can make a situation much more stressful than that. You're taking a practice sat pop quiz on a falling plane, covering snakes, the bomb sitting off in one minute, and your phone is dead so you can't chat and shoot little bluff that's next to you and- Stop! I don't get it. That had to be the most stressful situation I've ever made. Well, well, it's a very unrealistic situation. Nothing like that could ever happen in real life. Like, aren't, you know, aren't you teaching about stress? Well, yes, I- <sighs> Then teach them. Don't feed them unrealistic stress. I, I'm sorry, Kel. I really wasn't thinking of how you felt. All right, I forgive you. Now finish your stress speech. Of course. <clears throat> Overall, stress is an important part of our lives, but you shouldn't feed your imagination in the wrong way. Wait, that's how we're ending this? That's ridiculous. There's way too many loose ends we need to wrap up. Here's a question we should be asking. Where is that bomb and how has it not even exploded? I guess that answers my question.